Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Ali. <laughs> I'm Baros, and welcome to Happily Ever Adventurous. It's another Wednesday. It's his Wednesday. It has been a race to get here. <laughs> prep everything. We keep forgetting that Fusion Fusion just takes longer to prep. Yes. Because we're going to make something as opposed to just talking about it. Right. So, <laughs> so the run from work, the so run there around. Was a bit, there was a run around. <laughs> but even the maestro is sleeping right now. Um, we we're should, wake him up. We Come should here. get him up. Come here. Because he didn't have dinner. Oh, oh, there you here go, he there is. you go, there you go. Maestro, say hello. Don't be rude. You're not eat. If you're coming to show first time, so every time at the beginning, we are bribing Maestro. For good behavior. Because <laughs> he's a cat. And that's not guaranteed. And uh, that's Maestro's butt. Uh, yeah, you see that a lot. <laughs> So we can't control him. He wants to be on the table when he wants to be on the table, but we can yes. bribe him and then he'll go to sleep. Yes. There you go. Or alternatively, we may throw treats and then he'll leave the table to go chase the treats. Yes. Also, he likes that. Yeah. It's a fun game. Are you going to eat it all at once? Maestro, are you being a good boy? Oh, let's try this. Today, we have actually... A new setup. A new setup. Oh my God, this camera. Maestro. <laughs> I love, I love it. Okay, that's the first time I've seen that. <laughs> Maestro. We have it set up so you can see an overhead of when we're making some <laughs> delicious guacamole. But uh, it works out really well for the cat, too. <laughs> Watch that adorableness. So, actually, I wanted to make three cameras today. Uh, Maestro cam, the Ebo cam, and regular cam. But thanks to Amazon, it didn't uh, deliver on time. The, so Yeah, the... The cables didn't get here, so. <laughs> so, only two cameras. But that's okay. Two, and the, this one works very well as a maestro cam. Mm -hmm. It works out very well. We can just see the top of his little head. Yes, yeah. yes. I love it. That's hilarious. Maestro it's is so... right here. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, say hi. Join the chat. Yes, yeah, say hello. We want to see who's here. So, before we start chopping things... Let's bribe him very well. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Maestro. Say hi to the camera. And he's like, no, there must okay. be more food somewhere. <laughs> he's like, give me the food. Oh. He's done. Oh, he's done. Ah, oh, buonasera, Mr. Pacone. Hello. It is Joe. And I said, Mr. Old habits die hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting. Nice. That's it, Maestro. He's looking at me like, no, it's not yet. He's like... He's definitely... <laughs> he's contemplating if he'll come back. Yes. Oh, Barack's here. Hi, Barack. Hello, hello. So, hello. what are we doing today? So, we are going to be fusion fusioning guacamole. Yes. Um, and if you were not here for our last fusion fusion, we can explain what that is. What mm -hmm. is a fusion fusion, my love? Fusion fusion is actually our version of fusion. Which makes it fusion part. <laughs> it's confusing, right? Yes, yes. actually. Uh, so essentially, <laughs> a fusion fusion is just us taking and mixing some cultures. Yes. Because we love eating foods from different places, from mm -hmm. different cultures. We are multicultural. Multicultural? Does that work as a word? We are multicultural between the two of us. Yes. I'm, as many of you know, Italian American. <laughs> Baros is Turkish. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> Joseph, I have been called worse. <laughs> Maestro, where are you? I know you're around. Oh, he's here. Come here, boo boo. He's like, I'm contemplating. So, <laughs> back to the subject at back to the hand. Subject, yes. Fusion, fusion. Um, because we do love eating foods from different places, yes. our fusion, fusions are a way of learning about and mm -hmm. messing with some recipes from other cultures exactly. as well. Here Last we time we made Fusion Fusion Kumpir. If you did not watch that, oh, big boy. go watch it later. It was very fun to do. Kumpir is Turkish baked potato. Mm -hmm. And we mixed it up with some American style ingredients yes. and made it our own. I'm going to have some fun. I like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Keep enjoying our cat. If you don't like cats, this is not the stream for you. If you like cats, this may be the stream for you. 
Anyways, so we have been working on the guacamole of our version for, for a, a long while. T- for a I while. Mean, I guess we've been making and tweaking this version of guacamole since we started living together. Exactly. So that's probably the first yeah. time we made guacamole. Mm-hmm. And as many people know, guacamole is very much a tradition in the U.S., but it is not an American food. No. It originates from the Aztecs, actually much sooner than I would have thought. It looks like the Aztecs were using avocados in some kind of guacamole form from like 500 BCE. And Mm -hmm. it became more popularized elsewhere in the world in like the 16th-ish century, but it's been being made since... (laughs) Sorry, guys. I'm having so much fun on this. And he's distracting me. (laughs) I'm giving information and he's just feeding the cat. All right. Oh, say hello to Maestro's... No, Maestro, honey. Maestro, come here, boo-boo. Honey, come back. <laughs> I Cat did... butt. <laughs> it's literally, he's like owning the show with his butt. He's like, this is my butt, and I put it in the camera. Okay, come this way. Oh, my goodness. So... Maestro, our, our focus is gone because of your butt. Come here. Come that way. Okay, Sorry. I guess that's enough for now. Sir. Maestro. There we go. Go to your bed. Done. <laughs> um, I kind of wish the other cam was working because then you could <laughs> see the look he just gave us like you think I'm done. Yes, you need to you need to settle, sir. Yeah, go. There we go. Get down. Ooh, okay. And shaking. <laughs> dun, Let's dun, see. Dun. Hopefully that's enough bribing. We'll see if it works. We'll see if it works. Yes. While you are giving some information, I will slowly bring our stuff. Yes, start bringing over the ingredients. Yes. Um, as I was saying, <laughs> guacamole has been around for a very long time. And the Aztecs like really loved guacamole because avocados are, one, super healthy. Because they've got the high fat content, but like good fats... Good cholesterols, all that yumminess. Mm -hmm. It's got really good high nutritional value for a fruit. And also, did you know that they believe that avocado is an aphrodisiac? Oh, I did not know that. Apparently it is. I don't know if that's still believed. I just know that the Aztecs believed it. (laughs) If uh, it's still true, whale, get your avocado on. (laughs) <laughs> Get your avocado on. Um, <laughs> I don't. I'm hold on. I'm like, girl. Get your avocado on. <laughs> it's your favorite song. No, that doesn't really work. I don't. I don't know. It's fine. I just make things up as I go. I've got the bowl. Yes, you are the the bowl master. You are the master. I'm the master of my. Let me see if I can read the other ingredients. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so back to guacamole. Mm-hmm. Um, the traditional ingredients for guacamole, actually, in the U.S., I always think of, like, very specific things for guacamole. Mm-hmm. What do you think of for, like, when you're at a restaurant, what's in a guacamole? Um, actually, m- most of the ingredients are right here. Yes. Except a couple of them, like feta cheese. Which they can't see because of the overhead. They can see in the overhead. Oh, but it's we. it's feta cheese so white, so that I, I can put it right here. There we go. There you like, go. Yeah, feta cheese. <laughs> the feta cheese is if, our if, addition. If if we take the feta cheese out of the equation, I guess those are the main ingredients that mm-hmm. you can get um, in any restaurant. Yes. Mm-hmm. Typically, we see the avocado, of course, lime. Tomato, red onion, cilantro. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jess. Welcome hey Jess. to our guacamole party. And I don't know why I just suddenly sounded like um, Julia Childs. <laughs> Welcome to our guacamole party. Like, I don't know where it came from. Uh, I did watch Jul- Julia and Julia. No, Julia and- when did you watch? The other day? With mom two weeks oh, ago. Oh, two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, we watched it two weeks ago. But apparently I've um, a- assimilated some... <laughs> Julia Child's feeling apparently when I say hello to Jess in particular. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, 
Would you like to start zesting some lime? Oh, I love to start zesting some lime. There we go. Zest, zest. Shall I do it down or up? However you like. We we were who are we watching? It's Good Mythical Kitchen, the Mythical Kitchen. Yeah. Oh, um, actually, before even starting, let's have some beer. Oh yeah. Let's cheers. What happened to what happened to my voice? Like let's do it here. Hi, mama. <laughs> All right, we have. <laughs> okay. Oh, Hi, that... Maestro. Sit down. <laughs> sit down, sir. I guess it's time to sleep. Otherwise, well, otherwise we start throwing treats. No, and he's he's, happy. he's, there we go. he's situating. He's gonna situate himself in nap. Yeah. There we go. Don't there you go. Go to sleep. <laughs> you okay. can see his one ear. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> if I just like uh, get this for a second, yeah, he's right there. Joe, why don't you put hot peppers in your guacamole? We always put hot peppers in our guacamole. But maybe it's because you are a hot pepper. Ooh. Mm -hmm. the boom, boom. I'm sure it's, I, I don't know why. I've got the feeling of a dad joke coming, but uh, <laughs> I could be wrong. Um, so, to preface this, I went to go buy beer after work, and mm -hmm. I just wasn't really thinking about how large these were. <laughs> um, I you got, got uh... a traditional Corona, because when I think guacamole, I think of Corona extra and not virus. Yes, we are <laughs> to, not expecting to make those uh, jokes and to hearing be, from you guys. To be specific... <laughs> It's just a good light beer. Yes. Corona. And then, because I was in a liquor store and looking at the beer section, I also found this rather large. I have never had Victoria that. Victoria beer. I have never had this either. I have no idea what this is supposed <laughs> to taste like. But what intrigued me is that it is... Cerveceria Modelo Mexico. So this is actually hecho in Mexico. It's made mm. in Mexico. And since I'd never really, aside from Corona, mm. I didn't know very many other beers that are made in Mexico. Like I know a Presidente comes from Dominican Republic. We had that before. We've yeah. had that one. And then. So Victoria. do you want to actually start with that? So we know what this is. Yeah. Let's start with. I'm from Victoria. Victoria. Have you guys ever had Victoria? Have you had Victoria? It's heavy though. It's Maybe like it's Victoria. I don't know. I don't know. If we have anyone who speaks fluent Spanish watching, please correct my pronunciation. Yes. I am not a fluent Spanish speaker. I am a semi-fluent Spanish speaker because I can make it work. Yeah. i not speaking. I, I barely speak two languages, so... You speak two languages just fine, <laughs> I love them. All right, I'm going to, by the way, start chopping this beautiful you, cooked roasted. Do you want um, half full? Half, I guess. Let's see if I know how to peer. 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 If I know also, to also half because tomorrow morning I will uh, wake up at 5 a.m. and go to work. This oh, is... yeah, we should not drink both of these beers. Though. Right. What, what was I thinking? Ah! Look at that lovely color. It is quite darker. I'm gonna just go there. It is a little <laughs> darker than our Corona beer. Do you think it's a little bit like a Pilsner or lager tasting? I don't know yet. I didn't taste it. <laughs> It just says cerveza. There is no descriptor on here. But I think it's a type of modelo because it says cerveceria modelo. And mm -hmm. therefore, the cheese can go here. So dun, we are going to very, very dun. finely chop those. I'm just moving this away because I want to be in the frame while I'm doing this. There's still more beer. Perfect. I'm going to get in the way right now. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> dum, dum, dum. So we always enjoy eating spicy, so I'm not taking the seeds out, so they're going to get chopped. Yes, chop up into the that. seeds. Yay, warmer days, Mom. We're very happy for warmer days as well. Yes. We can have a little more deck time. Oh. All right, so we're just going to drink this whole beer. We're probably not going to drink the Corona over here, the Corona Extra. Uh, I don't um, think that's going to... We'll save this for a different day. Let's see. Day. I mean, let's see also how um, we never tasted. 
if we don't like it, well, <laughs> I've already poured it out, so we're drinking it anyway. Right. Would you like to... Cheer. Cheers, and then yes. continue. Yes. Cheers. Cheers, and cheers to all of you watching with us. Happy Wednesday. Always. Pilsner. Mm-hmm. It's... Very it's, Pilsner. It's a true Pilsner. Actually, I like it. It's a very light Pilsner. If you like Pilsner, it's not an IPA. It's not strong. It's not IPA. But it's not IPA. <laughs> but it's good. Um, also, I was going to continue on my... Okay, so what's yours? Is I don't... Put, because uh, they get jalapeno in my face. That's why. <laughs> I told you. That joke was coming. They get uh, okay. jalapeno in my face. <laughs> jalapeno my... Sorry, I'm enjoying that way too much, Joe. Thank you for the jokes. <laughs> it doesn't make me seem any cooler, but that's fine. I don't have to be. So, today's show is all about guacamole, so avocado. Yes. And we have two, and we didn't get any backup. So, uh, we will just cut and see. Hopefully, hopefully they are in prime condition. Work. They'll be the last <laughs> thing we cut into. And... Uh, uh, not really. Who is Neopip? If I read that Salud. wrong, sorry, I'm like trying to say Salud. Hello. Neopip Pipil 01. Hello. Zero one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't say sorry, Joe. Mi dispiace is not necessary. We think that was a great joke. Alright, so it's well. Slowly getting I'm just off camera seeing what's going on. Nothing. My phone buzzed at me. I thought it could be important. <laughs> I'm not that popular. Ooh, you had homemade Mexican tonight? Nice. Did you cook or did Nina cook? Or did one of the girls cook? Because I know sometimes they come by. Um, I am going to roll my lime. We had for dinner... Um, <laughs> we had... What did we eat? I don't we, remember. We, we had um, Banana King. We had Banana King. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was good, but it's fast food. It's not nice. as good as Joe's homemade Mexican. If you guys can see in here, it's actually... What can I do? I can make this full screen. Do it. Yes, I just need to clean my finger. Yeah. Oh, and like I was saying before, for Mythical Kitchen, they had a debate if you should zest this way or if you should zest this way and watch... Actually, if you, it's above... Do you want to... Do it over there. I don't want to I do can, it in your beer. I can do this. <laughs> can Can you kindly move your beer? Oh, I can do that. That's highly possible. So it was the debate over this way mm -hmm. or this way so you can see what you're catching. Because apparently, maybe you'll get white hmm. if you're... So what do you think? Like if which one is actually... I think make the, less mess. Um, <laughs> neither. I can make a mess no matter how you hand this to me. Um, but actually, I think this is just harder. This is just a weird gesture. Like, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> how do I do this? <laughs> I'd much rather do it this way. All right. Not I'm that I'm good at it to, this way either. Actually, I was going to just show this jalapenos becomes almost like a relish. -y. So that I means we are in good the lime. shape. And I don't know who can hear, but the ice cream man's outside because it's springtime. <laughs> so we're right? having our guacamole and he's serving ice cream. All right. Jalapeno in. It's a lot of jalapeno, honey. Yeah, that was, was a large jalapeno. We're getting a, a spicy guacamole tonight. Yes, we enjoy spicy. If you, I mean, you can do two things. If you want less spicy, don't put the seeds in. But otherwise... Seed it up. Seed it up. I don't know what that means. Don't worry, I don't know what it means either. <laughs> I just say things as per usual. <laughs> Talk like nobody's listening, even though we're on a live YouTube. <laughs> All right, so quick board cleaning. Okay. Do you think I have zested enough? I guess that's. Plenty. That's very good. Do you want me to cut those and you can squeeze? Yes. Very good. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I must get the last 
The last bit. Everything goes in. All right. There I'm is cutting no in the waste. quarters so you can easily, oh, easily do it so I don't shukwiz. get lime juice everywhere. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, we all know I'm getting lime juice everywhere when I start this process. <laughs> well, so we want to put the lime juice first because when we put the uh, avocado and start meshing, it's not going to get dark because the acidity in the lime. <laughs> Next, chopping party continues. Cilantro. Oh, and I was going to talk about the ingredients a little bit. Yeah. Because well. when I was looking it up, it's interesting because the original guacamole was mm -hmm. like actually just avocado paste. So like they like just mashed the avocado and mm -hmm. like very little else went into it. And it went for a long time that way. But somehow with the Colombian exchange and I found this on a website so i don't know exactly what they're talking about when they say colombian exchange but basically they're saying that as the spaniards came in and i'm guessing there was a trading route that i just am not aware of and need to do more research on mm -hmm. um they wound up introducing other ingredients so like garlic and cumin they came from southern asia to europe then to america through the colombian exchange okay. so like garlic and cumin are really common ingredients in guacamole that's interesting which we, we don't use it at all yeah we haven't used garlic or cumin in our guacamole i kind of feel the garlic cumin might be like a very earthy but if you think about the old days, possibly cumin is like a very mm -hmm. valuable yes. spice, you know. And then lime, actually, Persian lime specifically, is a staple to guacamole recipe. But it originated in Southern Asia, produced in large scale in Middle East, and then reached Western Europe around the time of the Crusades and was introduced yeah. later on to the guacamole yes. as well. By the way, I'm holding the, the end of the knife to not make too much noise, so... If you guys like you're seeing it as like a, what this dude is doing something yeah. weird in here. Yeah, Baros is just trying to keep minimal mess slash noise <laughs> effects right now. I'm just trying to stay out of the way of the knife. It's, We've it's, decided it's, that it's, I don't get a knife today. It's, it's also, <laughs> I enjoy sharp knives. This is, I just sharpened it, so it's... Oh, yay, it's Ariana. Hi, Ariana. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> I shot some lime. Okay. Uh, <laughs> It's fun making things on a live stream. You can make a mess really easily. Um, All right. I guess this cilantro chopped very, very finely. It's great. Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, I like the smell of cilantro, which is some people some find people, it as like a soap, right? Yeah. Some people hate cilantro. It's, it's actually like a genetic predisposition from what I was reading. So That's interesting. you either and like legit like it you either love it and it tastes delicious to you it. or it tastes like soap to you and it's gross. Yeah. So I don't know for who's watching. What do you think? Is cilantro delicious or soapy? Because for me, it is delicious. For me, it's delicious as well. But I know for a lot of my coworkers and for some of my best friends, mm -hmm. cilantro is a no go. Yes. Okay. And then Joe said, I don't know, but the spice route em emanating from India really inspired impressive monetary investment in history, right? <laughs> he never met a slice he didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, spices really did kind of change the route of history because if we hadn't yeah. found all those spices, and by found, I, I, there's other words I could use. Mm -hmm. But I'll, you know, let's, well, let's not get into that aspect of history right now. Yes. Let's just keep it, you know, mellow. And I am over squeezing this. I know. I guess I that's know. very, very delicious. Do enough. we have um, a napkin? We have. Okay. We have a napkin. We have wet vibes. We are prepared. And someone's prepared. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be before the live stream, I was running like... I think we were both running, but we were running for very different reasons. Headless chicken. Yeah. Headless chicky. I mean, I needed to shower. I was looking a little worse for wear. Um, there you go. Napkin for you. Thank you, my love. I guess that's good. Give it to me. 
<laughs> he's like, he's you, like, you have- I take away the toy. I take away the toy. <laughs> Too much fun. Too much fun. All right. I guess this one is. <laughs> I like just found America. America. Yeah, you know, you know what I meant. It well, found is yeah. relative. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, I do find it really interesting, like, if you're looking at some of the ingredients and you mm-hmm. actually, like, look at the history, figuring out where they came from and how they got to the point where, like, yeah. it's a staple in guacamole is incredible. Mm-hmm. Plus, something I didn't actually realize until more recently is that there's different versions of guacamole depending on what region, region yeah. in I remember, Mexico actually, we, 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 um, we were watching a video about it and people were mentioning about yeah. it. There is no one guacamole so there is dif- differs region by region yeah and so basically uh, <laughs> what just happened uh, joe, joe. <laughs> oh my god joe <laughs> cristofolo that genovese bastardo <laughs> provided some gruesome chapters in the diary of the europeans gone wild <laughs> <laughs> well joe I kind of, you are an amazing chorus director, an amazing music teacher. Part of me now wishes you were a history teacher. I would have actually learned a lot and yeah. paid more attention to history class. I'm going to chop some onion, by the way. <laughs> yeah, go, go chop some red onion, my love. <laughs> I'm going to do like a very, very thin. So I was looking up earlier. I think there's, and I, and I have promptly now forgotten, I believe there's 29 regions like states mm-hmm. of so Mexico I'm gonna make, a little... make noise how dare you that's fine um, but 29 states I, I believe and then there are like if you look at it regionally like there's like mm-hmm. seven well I found, like, three different ways. You can either break it up into, like, nine-esque regions, seven-esque regions, or five-esque regions, uh, depending on how you break it up geographically, culturally, or et politically. cetera. <laughs> you know, complications. But, so we're not going to talk about specific ones, except I did find it, guacamole in central Mexico is typically avocados and lime as the base with garlic, onions, chilies, and herbs for flavor. Nice. So very, like, basic. Sounds really good. If we ever go to Mexico, I can't wait to try all of the different guacamoles. Yes. I cannot wait, because it'll be so fresh and delicious and amazing. And also, I would love to ask people yeah. about their uh, guacamole. So maybe we'll have, like, a separate episode talking to some of our Mexican Actually, friends. I would like to learn more about the traditions and history mm-hmm. behind it. You know. Exactly. About different dishes. One of my coworkers who's Mexican, um, she was telling me that we need to have an episode on, and I'm going to mispronounce it. She's going to kick me later because we, we went over this like yesterday. Pozole? Pozole? I never heard it. What's that? I don't know how to pronounce it. Apologies. I, I think the accent is not on the po, like I keep saying. I think it's pozole, but I... That's not Italian right now. I'm an I'm an Italian American. I speak Italian, not Spanish. Sorry, guys. Um, That's why is, I'm not opening my mouth. <laughs> it is a, you know, the big corn. Yeah. So it's not like regular corn, but it's the big corn soup, and it comes in different varieties. So they have like a red version, a white version. There's ones with chicken. There's one with fish. There's one mm-hmm. with um, pork in it. And it's supposed to be really, really delicious. And she was telling me like about different versions of it. And I was like, I don't even know if I've ever had one version of it, but it sounds fascinating. So that could be for a future date. Look at how yes. finely that onion has been chopped. Yes. Onion has been chopped. 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 Mm-hmm. Then back to. The- I guess we are slowly getting into the avocado territory. Uh, yes, because tomato goes last. Although, are you going to cut the tomato first? Uh, no. No. I guess I will let you mash by the time I will cut some tomatoes. Cut some tomatoes. Am I mashing with the spoon or the fork? I guess fork is easy, but when we are... Um, final touches will be with the spoon. Okay, I'm just making noise at this point. Yes. So, in general speaking, you put salt and pepper also. But since we are going to put 
this amount of feta cheese Are into that. Are we putting that. all of that feta in there? We, we... Shh. No one needs to know <laughs> our slight obsession with feta cheese. That is Anyways, so creamy and good. Yeah. Um, it's the good stuff. Hi, good Ernesto. stuff. Good stuff. So we are not putting any salt in it because cheese has enough salt. But you made me bring salt. Yes. He made me move extra. No, you didn't move extra. By the time you get the pepper too. Oh. Oh. Pepper it. There we go. It just said it's a stew called and I'm gonna and I'm not gonna have to pronounce it because pozzole, pozzole. You 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 if, can if, read if, it if, just even, as well as I can if, say if, it. Even in in the Spanish you say T bef before the Z? No, and that's probably a me issue. Hmm. Can you try to pronounce it? Try to pronounce it. You usually do better with those. I don't know. Blind. Pozole. That sounds accurate. That sounds a lot closer to what she said than I'm saying. No. Because I know if I'm... If you guys know, please let us know. I'm literally... Hominy. Thank you. That's the corn thing I'm thinking of. It looks like big corn. It's hominy. Pepper. Pepper it. Um, yeah. I I cannot pronounce... <laughs> Look, and this is like, well, so le. And you, I'm again, you, I you edit I me. can't help it. I can't help it. I don't know. Yeah, you say it. pozzole. Pozzole. <laughs> pozzole. I'm just joking. I'm doing well. I'm all right, so well. then do you want to put just this much? Just put all the feta. It's okay. You know, with feta, everything is better. better. <laughs> <laughs> Not every feta. No, this is good feta. This is good feta. Do if, you have the container? I don't have the container. Oh, okay, never mind. But um, anywhere, um, Eastern Bulgaria, Northern West Turkey, and Greece. In that, if you if you have enough uh, geographic knowledge, you you got the area. That area has the best feta cheese. Yes, I agree. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Put all the feta. I imagine. Oh, feta. Okay. Give me. Oh. <laughs> th throw feta at me. So, all right. So, shall we see? Let's see how our guac, how our avocados are. Oh my God. Pray for us, everyone. Whatever religion, whatever non-religion, whatever you believe in, pray I mean, that we got a good avocado or two. Otherwise, we're just having a. Jalapeno feta mash. Yay! Oh, that's beautiful! Make it big, make it big. Show them how good it is. Make it big. All right. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. It's big. <laughs> okay, you can go back to us. I just wanted to show off our beautiful avocado. You think this one's is good? Let's see. Because we are going to use both of them. We're going to have an avocado heart attack. And then, in the meantime, while he's cutting that, mm -hmm. I will tell you about Oaxacan guac. It's a lot thinner. So Oaxaca is... I hope... Yay! Yay! Oh, I did so good, guys. I did so good picking avocado. Fantastical. Uh, so, as I was saying, Oaxacan guac, a region of Mexico, is a lot thinner than what we're used to here. And it served as a condiment. Mm -hmm. So it's all the standard ingredients... But it's put into a blender until smooth. And then I'll add a little lime juice and a little water until it's like thin to like drizzle on. Yeah. So they don't. So in general speaking, mm -hmm. how you get the avocado out? Uh, it depends on who you are. Who you are. You want to know who I am? Yeah. Tell well, us. I mean, the way I do it is you give me the knife. No, no. Not show it. Just tell it. I make a. <laughs> that knife is very sharp. La, I got la, scared. La, <laughs> la, la, la. Um, just like a slice, like hand, like. <laughs> I love you. I love you very much. Uh, so, I mm. cut a grid into the avocado and then smush it out. Nice. Or spoon it out, and Joe says tablespoon. Yes, and. I do it very weirdly. 
How do you do it? I peel it. You are weird. Don't you get more dirty that way? You get more avocado on yourself, no? He can peel it. It's fine. Oh, Jess and Ernesto say hello to each other. Yee. Okay, then let's see. While he's peeling his avocado. <laughs> Uh, in Veracruz, it, which is a neighboring state to Oaxaca, guacamole takes a surprising spicy twist because they add radishes, which I've never done. That's a weird spot. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to cut it off? And Joe's, uh, you can. Joe says, the grid is good if you need cubes. And Jess says, tablespoon. So Baros is just making extra work by peeling the avocado. I'm actually, you see, there is nothing on the shell left. We are not wasting, actually. Oh, fancy. There you go. It helps Pe <laughs> Just says, peeling takes patience. God bless. <laughs> well. All right. Um, I'm just seeing, okay. In Veracruz, like I said, they add radishes. I'm going back. Mm -hmm. talking it looks like we're gonna have oh no this is only one quarter um and then it's mashed avocados juice of one lime jalapeno white onion cilantro <laughs> and the radishes and it's the boros three years ago. <laughs> with one a honey <laughs> you can spell boros <laughs> I'm dying. Oh my god. Yes. Uh, while we wait for Barros to peel, I can just talk to my heart's content. Hey, first f finish mashing those. I'm mashing. Then, then say something to me. <laughs> we all know that I'm a bad masher. I don't usually do the mashing. Because my wrist hates me. I don't think it's that slow, guys. I mean. Ta-da. You're a pro. <laughs> I'm not a pro at mashing. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's happening? Also, I'm a, I'm an expert at talking. I don't know. <laughs> well. La, la, la. Well, well. And then, if you're going to American style guac, you okay. can add corn, black beans. I've okay. seen mango. Okay. I guess I have seen guacamoles with those things in them uh, with mango i guess i've seen that before i mean i've seen more the mango with salsa mm -hmm. but i have seen it in in uh, guacamole as well and so i've definitely seen it in we are definitely holding on the tomato we are gonna add it last because we oh. don't want to mash that i mean i'm just gonna say i did a really good job picking some avocados look how beautifully green yes. that is and Another touch is going to be, let's do this. First cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. Yes. The good stuff. The good stuff adding. This is Turkish olive oil. Yes. I guess if you can get any Italian, Greek, Turkish olive oil, you're golden. And one, Oh, I forgot about this one. Yes, one last gem. Secret ingredient. This is the pomegranate molasses. Actually, they, I, I think they made a bad job of translating. They said pomegranate sour. I mean, that makes it sound like an alcoholic drink, which I'm okay with. <laughs> right? So, actually, it's pomegranate reduction. Mm-hmm. And it's quite... Edit Show um a little more. Yeah, it's like a, the, you can see the viscosity of the of the liquid. It's both sweet and sour, so that's gonna add some depth depth to the flavor. So let's just add this much. There mm. we go. It's very pretty, and now <laughs> I'm gonna mess it up. Do it. Yes. And by the time, I can start slowly. Yeah. When we started making this guac, we actually never put tomatoes in it. Yeah. We only just did the, like, 
avocado mm -hmm. feta olive oil and jalapeno roasted jalapeno specifically yes but recently we've started adding the tomato back in because we found some really delicious tomatoes mm -hmm. which make it totally worth it la, 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 <laughs> how la, is it going la. over there i mean it's not as smooth as yours but that's to be expected do you want me to no that's that's very good milo that's very good yeah okay Ta -da! Now, uh, geese. The tomatoes some... begin to be put in. La, 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 we are la. cubing some so tomatoes. Do you guys have a favorite kind of av um, avocado? Do you have a... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, avocado is just avocado. Do you guys have a favorite kind of guacamole? Because, I mean, this might very well be my favorite, except when we go to an authentic Mexican restaurant. Because then, yes. when it's an authentic restaurant, oh, the flavors. Mm -hmm. So good. Um, I think the only guacamole I don't like is the one where there's just not enough. <laughs> you remember the time we ordered from Noches de Colombia? Yeah. And we ordered like a side of guacamole for $3. And we're like, oh, it'll be small, but like, yeah, it should be fine. It was this big. That was like, come on, guys. That's a tease. It was so sad. I was like, $3 for that? What? What is this nonsense? Right. It wasn't even like a quarter of an avocado. I was like, what is no. this? So that's the only guacamole I don't like. <laughs> But if there's a guacamole you do like, let us know what your favorite is. And then Joe says, I usually make a guacamole with a dip consistency. Okay. So perfect for chips. This could work for that. Yeah. Because we always be... have this with like chips. Yeah. This and... is going to be very dippable. Yes. We have some chip-esque things. I like sharp knives. See? There's sure. not much tomato juice. Lovely. Lovely. All right. And then Jess says she usually does fresh garlic and tomato as her standard. You know what? We might have to start adding garlic in here. I don't know why we've never thought of that. We should. We are a garlic family. We love garlic. Both Italian and Turkish food does consist of quite yeah. a bit of garlic. Which yes. Which is impressive. All right. Do you want to give it one last... Stir. La 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 uh, uh, While I accompany it by this lovely melody that I don't know where it came from. La la la. <laughs> Which borrows can make creepy by anyone's standards. <laughs> la 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 la. I think I'm getting closer to It's a Small World after all. Um, do you know that song, honey? Um, sing it a little bit. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. And there's probably wow. more words, but do you know where that's from? I don't. It's from Disney World. There's a ride, or there was a ride, called Small World. Oh, uh, okay. No, wait, was it called Small World? <laughs> Everything is Small World. I'm like, is it <laughs> making things up again. <laughs> okay. I wish you could see my face as I'm like, oh, wait. Am I making things up? There you go. Look there how beautiful. Beautiful. And I guess we don't need... Hey, my is head in the shot right I'm now. I'm making things up, guys. Um, All right. So next. We couldn't find the fried corn chips. I don't mean to chips. take you back to the 80s. I just mean to take you back to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't find fried corn chips, but I found nice tostadas which are essentially corn chips. fried corn chips <laughs> <laughs> just, just in just larger the form. shape is a little different oh i am i am <laughs> it was, jess is going it was called it's a small world after all so creative it was so to give you <laughs> I, I think it's gone now i don't really know for sure uh oh it was featured in the new york world's fair that's good information to have did not know but it's a ride in Disney World that was basically a boat. And I remember going on it when I was 10 mm -hmm. with mom and Paul, 10 or 11 with mom and Paul. And basically it takes you through this 
almost doll exhibit as they all sing this song over and over again. But all the dolls are from different countries, if the own, different all, backgrounds. If the only words are that, I I'm quite to... sad like a who's singing all day. I mean, I, it's a recording. Oh, yes. Because... I have a spoon. I have a spoon. Are you wiping away the extra? Not the extra. That I could be eating. It's fine. It's making it look nice, but... Don't you want to take a picture and post on Instagram? Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to eat it. Let's face it. Eating it is the key here. I'll use this one. Oh. My phone's not good enough anymore. She is so good at multitasking. Look at the spoon. It just stays there. I'm Because you being... forgot it. No, I didn't forget it, you brat. <laughs> I'm just being good and not eating without you. Let's just put my stroke in the shot. Oh, there you go. And the beer. Oh, that's a good shot. And the camera. Maybe I can just like... It's like take a... photos. At zoo, <laughs> specifically. Just wait till you bring me to Disney World. Oh, the camera is actually... Oh. Don't worry, that wasn't an error. It was just... And... Oh, mom says Baros can make guacamole <laughs> from anything. Remember the yellow pepper? That's true. That, that was interesting. When we right? were at mom's house, Baros did make Let's guacamole yeah, with red pepper. There you go. The yellow pepper instead of jalapeno. It's a small world. Of and... <laughs> um, uh, too much fun. I like this overhead fun. I like this overhead camera. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's very fun. Mm. And my throw away. <laughs> he heard plastic. He thinks it's his plastic. Chips are a little bit big. I mentioned it, right? <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to get your first. Oh, look, he made it even prettier. There you go. How many? <laughs> it's it's enough guacamole for just two people. <laughs> this should have been our dinner, in fairness. Okay, so are you gonna hold the the spoon <laughs> entire show? <laughs> just eat no, it. but you have to have some too. I want to <laughs> eat with you. That's the point. It's not my just holding it the whole day. I was trying to be polite, guys. Cheers. I'm officially a happy camper now. Oh. Mm. It never gets old. Nope. Definitely mm. a little bit feta cheese. A little bit. Just a little. This is not at all the entire fat content <laughs> of what we should be eating in one day. No. And a little bit feta cheese, nice olive oil, um, pomegranate molasses. Mm -hmm. After the show is over, I will add the recipe into the description below. Yes. I didn't want to do it before because I ran out of time. <coughs> well, excuse me. There you have it. It's delicious. H-A-F-M. Fusion Musion guacamole. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Maestro start grooming. Um, if you <laughs> start seeing his head come up and down on this screen. Is there any other information? Actually, can you just like a search if there is any avocado or guacamole trivia? I need a typing machine. Keyboard services. Yes. Also, I did briefly want to mention Last week was Cinco de Mayo, so mm -hmm. hopefully anyone who was celebrating had a lot of fun. Firstly, we forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we did not remember. We got excited about something else, about our charcuterie trial of Turkish and Italian treats. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm not going to lie, I didn't really want to celebrate Cinco de Mayo because of what used to happen when I was in Italy. Because uh, Cinco de Mayo is not celebrated everywhere in Mexico. And it's not celebrated by every Mexican. It has become a very commercialized American holiday. 
um, where American college students, abroad at least, and probably here too, mm-hmm. uh, use it as an excuse to get drunk on margaritas. <laughs> so I didn't really want to. You know, go they that need route. to get creative. They need to get creative on reasons to get drunk? Yeah. Ten fun fact. Would you like to go to ten fun facts about avocados? Yeah. Um, and what's interesting to me is that for Cinco de Mayo, it mm-hmm. is actually like for, I believe, from the state of Chihuahua, which is a very large region of mm-hmm. Mexico, it celebrates the end of a battle and like the freedom of the people. So like in that region, it's a really big thing, but like everywhere else in Mexico, it's not. And then somehow it made it to the U.S., but it's like the bastardized form where we just have guacamole yeah. and margaritas or coronitas because you have your margarita with your Corona extra um, tipped into it. Yeah. And I didn't want to celebrate that. But next year, if we have more information and facts and someone who actually knows all about it, I would love to do I that. I just checked what's going on. What's going Briefly, on? Briefly, not much. What? Work emails and stuff. I okay. All right. You talk, I eat. Okay. Fair? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I spoke a lot. Mm-hmm. That's really interesting. Avocados are in the same family as cinnamon. Really? And it says, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Half of an average size avocado has 4.6 grams of fiber, the most of any fruit. Hmm. It also has more potassium than a banana. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to eat. Next time you get like a little um, leg cramp or cramp, have an avocado. Oh, that's funny. In the summer of 2017, more than 3 million photos of Avocado toast were <laughs> uploaded to Instagram every day. <laughs> every day. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we have some fact checking over here for Cinco okay. de Mayo. Mexican army's victory over the French Empire. Thank you very much. I think. Okay. Is that Christine? Because. I w- I'm not sure. Introduce yourself. <laughs> if you can, because your name is not your name. It doesn't yeah. say your actual name. It says the neo, neo pip. People, people. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's also really hard for us to read that. Yeah, but um, neo people or one. But it's possibly Christine because she usually mm-hmm. is a great fact checker and a font of information. But if you're not Christine, <laughs> tell me who you are. <laughs> if you are Christine, tell me who you are. It works. Um. So, mm-hmm. that's why. It was an important battle um, of Pue- Puebla. Yeah. Oh. Sal. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Salvador. Thank you for watching. Thank you and for... And for giving me fact information. Because right? Because I did oh, not Oh, there is another website. It says 50 important avocado facts. Hmm. What we must know about avocados. I can... Wow, I 50? will say some of the best avocados I ever had were mm-hmm. when I was in Guatemala. Oh, okay. Because they like basically just fell off the tree and we could like, we had them for like. Okay, I cannot pronounce this. Awahat. Awahat? Yeah, the name avocado originated from Aztec word. I can not say. Avocado? Avocado, which means testicle. I don't know if that's true. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. That's very interesting. Other terms used for avocado are alligator pe- pear, alligator butter pear, pear, vegetable mm-hmm. butter, and mid- midshipman's butter. Midshipman's butter. Interesting. I don't, I don't know, know what's midshipman's. I don't either. Mm. It sounds like a midshipman. So halfway through the ship. Man. Oh, okay. I don't know. Actually, let's search guacamole facts. All right, on to guacamole trivia. Yeah. Guaca. Watch me type. Right <laughs> Today way. I type it wrong. I'm like, oh, my a, God. oh my God. But it did take me literally the entire day to realize he typed it wrong. Yeah. 
in two places. <laughs> it was, if you saw, I don't know, hopefully it corrected itself everywhere. Yeah. But um, it said guacamole. It was guacamole. Yeah. But it was just a quick, just a quick mistypo. Mm-hmm. But rather important because, you know, it's the title. <laughs> and we do know how to spell it. It just failed. Yeah. It just failed. And Joe said the mids, midshipman mm-hmm. is a sailor. It's a sailor, yeah. Yes. Welcome to his increase of course in the Super Bowl Sunday and Sunday oh, yeah. in Mayo. For Super Bowl Sunday, I actually Guacamole watched, is big. I watched the documentary. It's actually on Netflix. I couldn't remember the name right now. But it's um, talking about how producing avocados in the south america it's like in the hands of mafia mm-hmm. and even some towns doesn't they don't have water because those people using all the water to actually grow avocado yeah that's it's i did read that briefly today it happens a lot in like Col- parts of colombia and yeah. parts of mexico where the cartels have realized that it's like um a really good money making since so many americans want it so yeah they take full advantage and also, it needs a lot of water. So, mm-hmm. having too much guacamole is not good for the environment. No, but it is delicious for the environment. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, this is kind of like information instead of like a, our previous trivia. So, yeah, we need better trivia. Better trivia. Next time. Next time. Next time, we will make that. It will be good. Wow. We already hit one hour yeah. mark. I think Baros was looking for trivia because he was like, oh, it's only been a half an hour. We need to talk. Oh, right? <laughs> no, I talk a lot. It's been an hour, so that's... It takes that's... time to make this masterpiece out. Yeah. The only thing we pre-prepared is roasting the jalapeno. And that's simply because we can't roast one here yet. Mm, and also, I don't think I want to roast anything in the office. <laughs> you don't want your office to smell like roasted jalapeno, honey? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I guess you're just not going to have any barbecue videos this summer in the house. No. Uh, it could be on the deck. <laughs> yeah, we won't We won't be grilling in this setup. <laughs> Baros is being selfish and doesn't want his studio to smell like <laughs> grilling or roasting. <laughs> How Def- rude. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe some ramen we can... We will make ramen. Yeah. We have oh we, we have some funny ramen stuff. We it. we we got a lot of stuff. Yes. What what are we doing next week? Do I remember? Do mm-hmm. you remember? Let's check. <laughs> I was like, we can give a little heads up for next week to prep some y'all. Teasage. A little teasage. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I'm gonna keep eating this. I'm just going to Google Drive. I'm gonna try not and... to crunch too loud though. And we are seeing what we have next week. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I updated it, to be completely frank. Hmm. I'm not sure. Jalapeno face. Well. Jalapeno face. We said spicy ramen challenge intro. Because that's oh. going to be a series. Oh, yes, we are going to do a series of ramen. Because we got a lot of different kind of We ramens. got really excited. But <laughs> we, so when we excited. went to the H Mart. Oh my God. When we were in H Mart, we like literally stood in the aisle being overly excited. Yeah. For what? 35, 40 minutes picking different ramens to try that like we've not tried before. And then we actually got uh, a complete stranger in on the act as well. Yeah. Where he was like, oh, are you guys just trying different ones? We're like, we're getting stuff for our YouTube channel. And he's like, oh. He got you, really excited like, like it. Do you like spicy? <laughs> and, and we're holding like the super spicy. And he's like, you like spicy? And we're like, oh, we love spicy. So he's going, you need to try this one and mix this one and this one together. They're really good together. <laughs> so we bought a lot of ramen. Next week, we start with the first spicy ramen challenge. But it's not the most spicy. We have several different ones planned for after that. The first one I think will be a weak spice. Mm-hmm. It won't be super challenging for us. Spice experts. Very the super, super Oh my challenging. God, that's going to kill us. In eight weeks, we In shall do this nonsense. That's not challenge. 
It's been ordered. It's been waiting. Yeah. Um, I believe for the Death Nut Challenge, most likely, mm -hmm. we will reschedule to a Friday evening. To have... A day after of recovery for my stomach. For uh, exit purposes. For my stomach. <laughs> um, for the one chip challenge, anyone who tuned in, we did survive that. And we didn't have terrible dire consequences except for stomach cramps. Yes, we had very... We woke up at 3 a.m. with stomach cramps like... Yeah. <laughs> just pain. Yes. Just pain. Uh, so if you have a sensitive stomach, keep that in mind for the mm -hmm. one chip challenge. I think the death nut challenge will be worst. Worst. Do you think? Much worse. Much worse? Yes. The worst? I don't know if it will be the worst, but I think it will be worse. Hmm. We I will don't see. know if it will be worse than the toe of Satan. I don't think any... I mean, I don't want to talk big, but... <laughs> I don't want to talk big. <laughs> but, it, you know, <clears throat> that was... The toe of Satan was torture. If you have not watched anything I'm referencing, please go watch. Mm -hmm. It's fun. And Joe, yes, ci vediamo la prossima volta. È stato un piacere. Thank you for tuning in with us. Evet. He's heading out. Yes. Evet. Evet. Yes. All right. I guess it's time to wrap it up. Yes. And Thank you guys go... for joining in. We will go finish our guacamole now. There is so much to eat. And um, I'm going to bring you some salt. We cannot finish this. Yeah, Sal, you're going to have some. <laughs> uh, if you live close enough and we don't know it, let us know. Maybe we'll feed you some guacamole tonight. <laughs> All right. Um... <laughs> I guess we will see you next week. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe. Please subscribe. Like, like the this, video. Like the video. And also, please share. Because we are trying to get our community a little larger. And we yes. are trying to hit 100 subscribers. So we can As have our, our own URL. It's our first goal. Yes. So help us get to that 100 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you have friends that haven't subscribed, make them subscribe. Join us in our antics. Yep. And... See you next week. Happy adventures. Bye. Bye. We are